hey y'all and welcome back to my channel in today's tutorial i'm going to teach y'all about the apex method versus the tiktok method i'm using the color sash by revel nail today so let's get started quick tip for y'all always remember to give your dip powders a quick shake or stir before using i'm starting with the apex method and most of y'all should be familiar with that i have a full tutorial about this method of dip powder application already on my page. I'll link it here. But basically you start by doing a thin-ish stripe down the center of your nail and then kind of working your way up towards the cuticle. I usually do about four to maybe five layers of dip powder depending on the dip powder that I'm using and I'm just making sure that I avoid getting any dip powder or pro base on my cuticle and cleaning up around my edges. One difference that I have noticed after doing both of these methods of application is that with the apex method, you definitely get that unintentional ombre look at your cuticle. And I think that's because you only end up with one full layer of dip powder versus the TikTok method, which I will show here in a second, you get two full layers of dip powder. When I first started doing my nails at home about two years ago, I initially learned with the Apex method just because that was what was primarily around. And then I feel like a year ago, there was this method released on TikTok, hence the name, the TikTok method. And I've only recently tried it, but to be honest, I'm already liking it more just because the unintentional ombre is like, 50-50 chance of getting it and I just haven't figured out a way to not get it But the TikTok method I feel like definitely eliminates that issue So now we're kind of switching gears and we're going to talk about the TikTok method Which I will try to really talk y'all through since it's a new technique And I really want to make sure that this tutorial is clear for y'all Start by applying a full layer of pro base But make sure it's a thin layer of pro base and then go ahead and pour or dip your dip powder onto your nail. If you are doing this on an actual nail after this step, use an orange wood stick and clean up around the cuticles to prevent having messy cuticles or from having the probase or dip powder sticking to your skin. For the second layer of dip powder, apply probase to the bottom third of the nail and then go ahead and pour or dip your powder over and then of course always remember to dust off the excess this will prevent your pro base pro base brush from getting clumpy or stuck on the dip powder for the third layer of dip powder go ahead and apply pro base to the bottom two thirds of the nail and then go ahead and pour or dip your powder over and then i usually stop at four layers of dip powder so this next layer will be my final layer of dip powder However, after doing this method a few times, I kind of feel like a fifth layer of dip powder would be best. For the final layer of dip powder, go ahead and apply a thin coat of Pro Base as close to the cuticle as possible, getting it all over the nail and then going in with your dip powder and either pouring or dipping as usual. Again, if you were doing this on your natural nail, go in with an orange wood stick and clean up around your cuticles. So here is a quick swatch comparison of the two methods. On the swatch, you don't see too much of a difference. However, I promise you when you do it on your real nails, you will notice a difference. So here I am activating both swatches because I hadn't done that yet. And again, I still didn't really notice much of a difference. And then after this, I went ahead and filed and shaped using a hand file and an e-file. And I'm going to show you all the difference here. So here are the two swatches again. And again, still not much of a difference, but I'm going to go ahead and activate one more time before applying my top coat. And you can kind of start to see a difference there. That one on the left that I just put down was the normal apex method and you could kind of see the unintentional ombre at what would be the cuticle. And then here is the TikTok method and you don't really see that. Here are the final two swatches. On the left you can see the apex method and on the right the TikTok method. And you can kind of see that unintentional ombre that I keep talking about on the apex method swatch. 
it's not too noticeable but definitely something to keep in mind so that's it for this tutorial i hope you all enjoyed it and don't forget to like and subscribe for more bye y'all